want to know how to manage the info about your customers in CRM, you're in the right place. Using Salesforce as an example, I will show you what an account object is and how to manage accounts. Hi guys, my name is Lisa and I'm a 3X certified specialist at Enway. We help businesses overcome challenges using Salesforce. First, let's understand what an account is. In Salesforce CRM, an account is a fundamental standard object that represents an individual or organization you do business with. Now, why do you need it? Well, accounts help you organize and track your interactions with customers or clients. They hold crucial information like contacts, details, addresses, and even the history of your engagements. There are two types of accounts in Salesforce – personal accounts and business accounts. Personal accounts are profiles for individual customers. They are used to keep track of interactions with people, not companies. These accounts hold specific details about a person like their contact info, preferences and any interactions or transactions they have had. As the name suggests, personal accounts are used in B2C scenarios focusing on individual clients. They are commonly used in industries like retail, healthcare and service. On the other hand, business accounts are for companies or organizations. They help manage relationships, activities and transactions with businesses, not individuals. These accounts include info about the company, such as its name, address, industry, size and contacts within the organization. Business accounts are used in B2B situations, where companies interact with each other. They are found in industries like manufacturing, technology, finance and consulting. So, how do you manage account in CRM? Let's see it in practice on the business account example. There are two ways to create an account in Salesforce. The first is to convert a lead. When a lead turns into a potential customer, you can easily convert it into an account, contact and opportunity, preserving all the associated information. Check out our earlier videos to delve deeper into these fundamental Salesforce objects. Alternatively, you can manually create an account by navigating to the Accounts tab and clicking in New. Here you will fill in necessary details like name, industry and any other relevant information. This method is useful when you have new clients or customers to add to your database. To make changes to an existing account, click the Edit button, update necessary fields and save your changes. You can easily access all the information about an account by clicking on its name. This gives you a comprehensive view of its details, including contacts, opportunities and activities. Accounts are often associated with multiple contacts. To add a contact, go to the Accounts page and click New Contact. Fill in the contact's information and link it to the account. Sometimes accounts are related to each other like parent-child relationships or partnership. You can establish these connections by using the Related Accounts feature. Also, Salesforce allows you to log activities related to an account such as meetings, calls or emails. This helps you keep a record of all interactions and stay organized. With these simple steps, you can effectively manage your customers in Salesforce and build strong relationships with them. Get in touch with Anyway for help with CRM, setup and customization. The link is in the description. And there you have it. Make sure to subscribe and smash the like button. Stay connected for more amazing Salesforce content. Catch you later.